Right now, experts are analyzing samples from a dead whale to see what killed it. This is drone footage of the young humpback that washed ashore in Virginia Beach this weekend. This morning, scientists performed a necropsy on the animal. 13 News Now reporter Allie Weatherton has more on the process. How often do you get a chance to see something like this? This is the first in my lifetime. For some, the beach whale was in their morning walking path on the beach near Lynn Haven Fishing Pier. But that wasn't the case for Andrea Curry. She drove from North Carolina. I wanted to see it, so we were able to get up this morning at the correct, you know, 3 4 o'clock to get over here. So. The Virginia Aquarium and Marine Science Center says the young whale was pulled ashore Sunday morning. Today, they're trying to figure out why the female humpback died. We'll look for bruising, for broken bones, for any indication that it might have interacted with a vessel or fishing gear or has a disease, heavy parasite load. This is the fourth humpback whale killed here since January. Three of those were from vessel strikes. It's a lot and it is concerning. And certainly a number of humpbacks have died in other areas as well. Experts will examine the whale and take samples. It could take weeks to months to officially determine the cause of death. You see and you're looking at the eyes and your, your heart just kind of goes out and you just feel sad. We have seen other dead whales show up in our area this year. One washed ashore in Hampton in May. Four others were found in February in the Chesapeake Bay and on the ocean front. The Virginia Aquarium says some of those whales died after getting hit by boat propellers. As we said, we're still waiting for a cause of death on this latest dead whale.